Hi. Who are you? Cormac Hayes, Chief of Pediatric Surgery. Since when? Since this morning. Who are you exactly? Meredith Gray. I'm Chief of General Surgery. Oh, Gray. Yeah. I've heard of you. You're the one who got yourself and half the staff fired, yeah? Who hired you? Bailey or Karasik? Why? Bailey usually has too much sense to hire surgeons whose egos are too big to fit in an OR. Is this what you wanted? This has got nothing to do with what I want. Second is, they're terrified of girls. They can't talk to them, especially the ones they like. Sometimes home is a person. So is your thing to terrify them for no reason and then bask in the relief? I'm not interested in trying to guess what people want to hear. I prefer to give them all the information and let them figure out how to deal with it. My wife's doctors didn't pay me that respect before she died. Listen, Gray, this is your house, but someone gave me a key, so maybe it's best if we try to learn how to live together. Welcome back, Dr. Gray. I can see where you were missed. You're here early? Got called in. Me too. Same. Dr. Gray, good morning. Hello. Coffee? Me? Yeah. No, I'm good, thanks. Very good coffee for a hospital. Or for anywhere, really. Yeah, Seattle is kind of known for its coffee. It's a... Uh, better at the cart outside. Right. Molded and appreciated. Dr. Gray? Hey. So, elephant in the room. I'm not sure what Christina said to you, but Who? I... Never mind. Who did you say? Never mind. Are you coming to the pit? What? Pit. What? The ER. You call the ER the pit? Yeah. Why? Everything they do. <laughs> I came home the other night and the oldest one was throwing. Sorry, I shouldn't laugh at that. Listen, Gray, uh, the other day, it's kind of a tough day for me. I get a bit dark this time of year because it's, uh, it's when I lost my mum. Cancer. So, um, you know, I hope we can start over. Sure. How long ago did she pass? Uh, two years ago last week. Two years is tough. Gets better. Not all the way better, obviously, but a little bit better. There was a time when they loved having a tour of whatever hospital it was I was working in. Now they just want to know where the cafeteria is. I think my boy is by chance. Um, no. Are they hiding? Or just maybe wandering? Just trying to torture me. Make sure we're late for the conference, you know? <laughs> Sometimes I think I hate them. No, I mean, I don't, obviously. Maybe I do. Oh, I don't know how you do it. The kids, the jobs, the insane. Who says I'm sane? The city shut off my water once because I forgot to pay the bill. And I didn't even notice. My daughter had to tell me. Dr. Gray. Oh, uh, how do you do it? And we have time to kill. Why Switzerland? What? We have time to kill. Why did you move to Switzerland? I sort of ran away. My wife died, took my kids, went to the furthest place I could think of. <laughs> Don't usually get a laugh when I do that one. I, I'm sorry, it's just that I did the same exact thing. 
Where'd you run to? San Diego. No idea why. When your husband died, was it fast or was it slow? Fast, very fast. You? Unbearably slow. Years. Everyone says it gets easier. Well, it does and it doesn't. When the firsts are tough, just when you feel like you're starting to heal. First time Liam got a stomach bug, I nearly had to be committed. Fifteen years of medical training out the window. First anniversary. First birthdays. First kiss. I haven't had that one yet. Why can't you just be happy for me and accept that? Why, why do you always gotta accuse me of, of not being well? Because there's a history. Okay, well, I don't accuse you of having Alzheimer's every time you forget something, do I? You know, you can go, Meredith, please. Just, just leave. Where are you off to? Home to hug my boys. Spoil them rotten just because they're alive. You? Same. Ray. Dr. DeLuca, who is he to you? He's one of my firsts. He's the first man that I said I love you to after my husband. Was it good? To say I love you to someone new? Yeah, I, it was, it was good. It was really good. Never met anyone like me. Widowed so young. It's nice. It helps. To have a friend. What about, what about helps me too. She talked about having a twisted sister. Yang did. I'm guessing that's you. single-handedly saved American medicine. You see it now? The twistedness. Took you long enough. Thanks for your help today. Great. What about Weber? Incredible catch. Yeah, it was not all me. It was an army and mainly to look at. Wanna grab a drink? Celebrate? Yes. Yes, I'm so exhausted. Will you ask me another time? Of course. See you later. just dead bodies. And you want to go back there? I'll go anywhere that isn't this bloody place. Back to it. Your mask is... Falling apart, yeah. Give my new one for today to one of the nurses. Hey, hey, I got your page. Please tell me it's a surgery. It's surgery. Oh, good, because I can't call time of death on one more person. And I don't want it to be someone's grandmother. Oh, you'd prefer it was a teenager. Well, no, no, that came out wrong. I just want to do what I'm best at. And cutting people open is what I'm best at. And what do we have? Frankie Morris, eight weeks ago, I helped give him a transplanted kidney for ARPKD. He's behaving beautifully till a tree branch penetrated earlier today. Into the superior pole, tree branch? He's running from a wildfire. What do you think? I think I'm saving a kidney. Coming? Well, I wouldn't mind considering it's my patient. Stay out of my way. No one will be able to tell you've been out of the OR for a while. I recite surgical steps when I'm putting on my PPE. I'm claustrophobic, so it calms me down. 
How are you lot taking it? My kids? Mm -hmm. Well, I haven't been home in two weeks, so I'm not sure they remember who I am. My lads are crawling on the walls. Just pray to God they didn't do anything this is stupid. You're going to tell me when you were this age, you don't remember being away from your friends for two days, feeling like an eternity? Friends, no. Girlfriend, maybe. I once hoisted myself off an electric fence to get to a girlfriend. What were you doing behind an electric fence? No, we don't know each other well enough for that story. Yet. All right, Frankie. I want the truth. We'll have to inspect the calluses, but so far, so good. Well, what do you know? Maybe there is another tomorrow. <laughs> Damn it. Clamp! Come on, Frankie. Come on, Frankie. Oxygen on a gurney now, go! Hurry up! When the guys came around to blow me down. Sorry, I'm in a really dark mood. How's Gray doing? Oh, well, here she's bossing everybody around up there. Glad to see some things are returning to normal. Want me to tell her you said hi? God, no. One of the things she's special. You look like crap. Look who's talking. I got a 26-week-old baby who looks stronger than you. So here you're looking for a POA. You're here to volunteer. Choose someone who will choose you over and over again. If I fall asleep, I'm afraid I might not wake up. Everyone's scared of you, Bray, you know that? It's because you're fierce. This virus has got nothing on you. 